Hey, why are divers f on a boat falling backwards? Is this a joke? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, because, I don't know, because they're instructed to hold them. No, because if they would fall forward, they would land on the boat. <laughs>
sturgeon. Unfortunately, they are very rare in our natural waters. However, they have been reintroduced in some lakes. Predators often follow schooling fish. Pikes lurk for their victims. Small. Medium. And gigantic ones. And the hunt begins. Sometimes the threat arises from the air. The biggest predator of our lakes is a mystical creature. The lucky divers can meet the titan of our waters, the majestic whale's catfish. The surface of the lake is decorated more and more with colorful leaves. In autumn, fish retreat to deeper sections of the water. And the cycle begins again. Nice. Pretty cool. Thank you, Marcel, for letting us review your uh, film. And I have to say, kudos to you for the effort you put in uh, to get all the different shots. Um, I think there might be as well different seasons where you put the, the camera out. I well, think he talks about yeah. seasons, so I would say, yeah, I think Definitely. so. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so it's not like one or two dives. I think it's quite some work involved there. Mm. And and you get some really special uh, special shots in there as well, like um, the, the, the pike fish hunting. Mm. The I don't know the, the the name of the animal, but the bird swimming through it. Uh, it's called. I don't, it's called? I don't know. Um, but yeah, really cool stuff. The which intruder. is the intruder. Yeah, let's call him the intruder. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty impressive, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I think there are some um, some parts where you could work on, um, and I'd like to start with the at the beginning with a cut and or transition from one part to another especially from when you're starting from the toads um to the kayak and then a few shots later um again the music stops when you're getting more into the summer um I yeah summer where we i think vivaldi then coming up yeah um yeah i think for, for my personal taste it was a little bit too abrupt and it was not mm -hmm fitting together it was for like music stops something new starts mm -hmm. i think that could be a nicer transition it's also i think because it's just the music stopped but the visuals it was just a hard cut from yeah. one to the other scene if um if marcel had maybe done like a a fade out to black and a fade in again it would have worked a little better maybe also do a fade in and out on the music but sort of you know show that something is ending and something yeah. else is starting yeah the fade to black is a very very good uh, uh method of 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 ending something yeah. and showing something yeah. new starting yeah. yeah that's a good way um yeah i agree i agree what i really enjoyed um was that you did actually have a story yeah um as sebastian said it was most likely quite time intensive to create that film and come up with all or capture all the footage um also i think that from the imagery that we saw i think that oftentimes you just placed a action cam down in a place that you knew or that you suspected that there could be some good shots taken there and because they were all rock or the most of the shots were very steady so i'm thinking you just placed them on a tripod placed them there maybe just you know came back an hour later and picked it up again and checked the footage and that is even more impressive because you had to go through all the footage um, that was collected and go through that and see if there is any usable footage in there so from my side as well kudos for doing all that extra work and going through that effort um so story very nice 
Uh, it makes all sense. It's nicely, uh, nicely laid out there. I enjoyed that you were using a narrator to convey that story. I think that worked great in that concept that you've uh, put together here. Um, when we talk about the narrator, I there's probably one thing that I would have done slightly differently. Uh, I would have probably chosen a voice or a narrator that is native speaking. So if you if you have a narration in English, I would have chosen someone who is native English speaking. Not that the that the English of your narrator wasn't good enough, not at all. But for me, if I want to have a narration in English, it's just the approach I would take. I would use someone who sounds like an like a native English speaking person. Yeah, it gives him a different a different atmosphere, a different vibe. Yeah. I want to say so it's too. like yeah, it's it's just different. Um if you could do it in your na native tongue yeah. and then put subtitles it would be a different way. But yeah. I think it just, it sounds more natural if uh, most people uh, um talk in their in their uh, native uh, nature. I, I guess so too. Again, Marcel, yeah. that nothing like nothing against you speaker and her English it was all good, but person that's a personal thing. Again, very subjective, but a personal uh, preference that I would take is to use someone who's native English speaking for such an English narration. Can I continue? Please. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You've just, just been waiting for that, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Now, I just want to um, talk a little bit about the color grading, and I know it's very hard. Um, you mentioned your email, you used, I think, three different kind of action cameras besides the GoPro, there were some others, mm. um, and as well the Sony. Um, so I think it's quite hard to get them um, properly matched. Um, but in, in some shots, um, you could have done a little bit more color grading, just adjust the colors a little bit more. Yeah. I think they you're very limited, but I think it could be done a little bit more. Um, sometimes as well, just uh, a little more, more, uh, more contrast and, and check for the highlight stuff, like just a tiny little bit more, um, would have some a, a different, maybe a different look for the, for the mm -hmm. video. Um, and I think that, you know, cause this is all talking about different seasons and stuff. So if you, if you keep the look, it's probably a good idea too. If you, if you keep the look for a single season, kind of the same, you know, the, the, the warmth of the imagery, the tint of the imagery, all that stuff. If, if like the, the spring has sort of the same feel to it, then the summer has the same feel to it, autumn and then winter, and they can be different. You know the different seasons from one another i think but within a season it should be more, it should be more uniform yeah makes sense yeah it definitely does hopefully make that sense. makes sense to you too <laughs> myself <laughs> um yeah and one thing i want to talk about as well is the voice <laughs> i've wrote down voice with music mm -hmm. so what i mean with that is more um just balance it out more evenly yeah. I think we had some peaks with the music where the music is going up and narration is quite um uh low from the from the from the level. Mm -hmm. So just to get it get it uh, uh nicely leveled out mm -hmm. and, and, and avoid any peaking. Mm -hmm. Um you can do that by hand or some there are some tools in, in different yeah. um softwares to, to support you with that. Yeah. Um yeah, I think it just gives them a more professional uh atmosphere than if it's all leveled. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Do you have anything uh, else to add? I do. I've got one last thing oh. that I want to add, and that's the uh, length. I just I just had to check quickly how long the video actually is, and it's 3 minutes and 18 seconds, which is, in my opinion, a really good length for such a piece. Enough time to show all the four different seasons, but not, you know, dragging them out too long. So I think you've done very well on the length of, uh, of this film. Um, and that's it. I want to close it off on my side with a positive. Very cool. Liked it. Uh, <laughs> for once. Um, yeah, so, course. Marcel, I just uh, wanted to sum it up for you a little bit. And um, what we liked um, about your film was the effort you put in, uh, in the different variety of shots you got. And it was all the, the very cool, the, the special shots you tried to capture and you actually captured. Uh, we liked the compact story. It was not boring, but it was like, uh, yeah, compact, not too long and, and uh, yeah, nicely 
um, told. And we think you could work on um, the color grading and the color matching of the different um, cameras of the footage itself. Matthias mentioned as well, you can try different uh, um, yeah, methods of doing it, like do the four season uh, um, grading, something like that. So, but get a uniform look for the pieces which belong together. Yeah. And then we think you can work a little bit more on balancing your audio, um, balancing music, but as well balancing audio, uh, sorry, the music versus your, your narration, uh, just to have uh, even, even levels. Mm -hmm. And one thing I just figured out, I wrote that down and I want to put it in there as well, is um, just be careful when using shots where the movement of fish or of any animal or, or uh, any uh, diver is from uh, from one side to the other and the next shot it's the the different the opposite direction mm -hmm. um, it, there are situations where it works but it can be quite disturbing if the fish is swimming in that direction and the next shot is swimming in the other direction it's like okay what happened um, yeah but that's just a minor thing yeah yeah so yeah overall we liked it we had fun watching it and um, thank you very much for submitting your film to us and yeah I you lost it again. I lost it again. No, I know. But yeah, go, go ahead. On. You can. You get it much better than me. No, go ahead. Go on. <laughs> so if you guys um, want to check out uh, the film uh, and other content from Marcel, Matthias will link uh, the channel of Marcel in the video description down below. Um, have a look at his his channel. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment. Say hello from the two of us. And uh, if you're already in the mood of hitting that like button and subscription button and the notification bell and whatever is there to hit, do it for our channel. And um, yeah, we appreciate um, any subscription and any like and any comment on uh, on our channel here. We really do. <laughs> yes. And if you guys want us to um, review one of your videos, um, we're happy to receive any email from you to contact at MatthiasLibo.com. Um, put the link to your video in the email and the brief description of um, the equipment you used, the dive site, the film festival you submitted it to, um, and anything else you think is relevant for us to yep. know and to tell the audience here on the channel. And now I think I talk for the first time a lot. Um, so I think it's time for you to take over. I'll, I'll take over. I'll take over. Thank you very much. Well done. We'll keep practicing. Uh, and uh, one day you can run the show without me. No, I don't want to do that. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it, guys, for today, pretty much. Thank you so much for your time and for watching. Uh, should there be any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Other than that, we are thrilled and can't wait to see you back here on the channel and for the next episode of Reviewing Your Underwater Films next Thursday. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Take care. Go out there, capture all your amazing underwater adventures. And once you've done so, send them to us. We can't wait to watch and review them here on the channel. Thanks for your time. Take care and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.